Thank you very much for joining me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. Over on EarthQC, I'm tracking this. This is Apophis, uh, nicknamed the God of Chaos asteroid that will get close to us in a few years. I'll cover that on EarthQC. I'm still working on that video, putting together information. This is a look at its uh, trajectory right now, what's happening with it right now. I'll put a link to that in the comments so you could uh, get a first look at that when I'm, when I'm done that uh, video. All right, let's get back to our earthquake tracker. We've seen a cluster of earthquakes, which we get earthquakes all the time, a lot of really small in magnitude, but this has been the hot spot, and we did have an earthquake of about 5.3 in magnitude a couple days ago. A lot a lot of us felt that. We've been shaking in and around uh, Christmas, just before Christmas. Uh, we were feeling uh, some of the uh, tremors over toward uh, parts of uh, Puerto Rico. So here's what's happening. This is a hotbed for an earthquake zone right in here. We had that bigger earthquake and four additional sizable earthquakes. Again, nothing crazy in magnitude, but this is definitely uh, grabbing my attention. And what's going on here is we have the North Hispaniola Fault and right through here, just north of Puerto Rico is the Puerto Rico Trench. And where both of these kind of come together, Together, that's where most of the activity has been close to Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. Here's Haiti over here. And what's happening here uh, along this uh, fault line, especially just to the north of the DR, what we have is a thrust fault quake. What we have is basically uh, a collision, a collision of plates. One rides up over top of another. And when you have this scenario, this is where we typically find on Earth are bigger earthquakes. And there is the potential, definitely the potential of more quakes since we've seen this cluster. I'll be watching this. And yeah, this type of scenario does lead to some bigger quakes. Those uh, thrust fault quakes are typically the bigger ones. That's why a lot of us have been feeling this. So I'm on top of that. I'll be monitoring that elsewhere as we get back toward anywhere from Trinidad, Tobago, uh, just to the north through Martinique. Haven't seen anything uh, sizable as far as quakes. We've had a few at about 4 to 4.3 in magnitude near Guatemala, El Salvador, down through uh, Panama over the last uh, few days. But again, it's that spot over toward uh, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, and Puerto Rico, that cluster of quakes that I'll be watching. Now, as we get to the uh, weather, look at this uh, front setting up shop right through the Gulf of Mexico. This is going to move into parts of Jamaica, Cuba, Cayman Islands, Belize, and other parts of Mexico over toward uh, the Yucatan. And we're going to see a cold weather set up in the U.S. And some of that will find us across the northern Caribbean the next few days. The front really sitting here, but as it sinks in, and I'll show you that in a second, it will bring rain for some of us. Cool weather to cold weather will move into the Bahamas. And we're going to see it stick around, a series of fronts moving in. On top of that, we've been dealing with some of the dust around. So let me know in the comments if you have any of that. So this is kind of a different map. Here's the uh, Bahamas, Haiti. Puerto Rico, Trinidad and Tobago, Barbados, and we've had that dust move in where you're seeing this yellow shading, even through the uh, ABC Islands, Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, back through uh, Trinidad and uh, Tobago over toward uh, Grenada. We've had some of this dust, so we've had a little bit more dust popping up, especially in the Eastern Caribbean over the last few days, monitoring that. Now, here's the front. Look at this rain right here. This is later today. Elsewhere, some spotty showers possible. Uh, Trinidad, we'll see a little uptick in the rain. Guyana and Suriname, northern Venezuela, Costa Rica, and Panama. It's going to stay active. Here comes the front. Look at tomorrow. Now, not, not a washout, but spotty showers. Cayman Islands, a little uh, bit of a better chance in Belize. Honduras, the rain chance is going up. Then this front kind of sinks in as we work our way into Friday. Friday afternoon, look at Cuba and the Cayman Islands. The better chance of rain, we'll get some cooler air. Belize, Mexico, Cuba, and then eventually Cayman Islands and Jamaica. Here's the Bahamas. As that front moves by, we'll get some cooler weather moving in, and you see that flare of rain with that front as we work our way into Saturday in Jamaica and the Cayman Islands, the rain chance could be even higher. And then that front kind of moves by. So our northern zones, some cooler to colder weather will be moving in at least uh, by our standards. And let me show it to you on the big picture. So here's the United States, our friends in uh, Canada here. Here's this uh, front. So this will start to move by just kind of taking out in time. Much of the United States is actually going to be quiet the next several days in really cold. Behind this front, there'll just be these mini fronts moving by, bringing some snow to Illinois and Indiana, watching more systems getting closer to California, Pacific Northwest. But you can see that line right there of some of that rain. This is by the time we get into Saturday. There it is. 
even up toward Bermuda. This is that bigger front that will slide by and usher in cooler weather through the Gulf. And then you see it here taking out in time. This is by Sunday. The front, of course, will eventually fall apart, but a shift in some of the winds, the Christmas winds arriving, Haiti, Puerto Rico, that cool down even for Jamaica as we work our way into Sunday, Saturday, Sunday, the early next week as we bring in the new year, we'll have some cooler weather in the northern Caribbean. So Trinidad and Tobago, we're going to see some spotty showers by Friday up to about a 30% chance. Isolated in Grenada, 10 to 20% chance over the next couple days, a 20% chance Thursday and Friday, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Rain chance about 40% Barbados. Thursday and Friday, spotty showers, not a washout. St. Lucia, rain chance will be a little higher, 40 to 50% chance over the next few days. 40% chance the next couple days in Martinique, a 30 to 40% chance the next couple days in Dominica, and about a 20 to 30% chance in Guadeloupe. We swing back toward Antigua and Barbuda, rain chance 10 to 20% chance, very small chance of a shower. St. Kitts and Nevis, same thing, 10 to 20% chance over toward Montserrat, Anguilla and St. Bart's, rain chance limited, 10 to 20% chance. 10% chance today and tomorrow, St. Martin, Saba, and Stasia. Rain chance holding at 20% in Puerto Rico today, 10% chance for tomorrow. Monitoring those uh, earthquakes that have been nearby, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, rain chance stays on the low side. About a 10% chance across the DR, monitoring some of the earthquakes we've had over the last week. And a 10 to 20% chance of rain in Haiti. Rain chance is not too high at all, mainly dry. Turks and Caicos looking at about a 10 to 20% chance. 30% chance tomorrow in Jamaica, rain chance by Friday up to a 40% chance. The weekend even higher. I showed you that front and you see that trend as well. Friday in the Cayman Islands, we're going to be up to about a 50% chance as that front moves in. Bahamas, we'll see that front increasing that chance of rain, especially northern and central Bahamas and Cuba. That front working across with the rain chance uh, going up as we go through the end of the week. Same thing in Belize with that front around Belize over toward the Yucatan. Rain chance will be getting higher, spotty showers uh, to widespread showers, and then we get some cooler weather. Rain chance about 20 to 30 percent. Aruba, Curacao, Bonaire, you see hanging on to about a 30% chance of a shower, monitoring some of that Saharan dust. Bermuda rain chance will eventually pick up as that front moves in. 50% chance of rain. Uh, Panama, Costa Rica, a little bit lower toward Nicaragua. Honduras, though, it'll be like Belize. We'll have about a 40 to 50% chance later this week. Guyana, uh, spotty showers today, but the rain chance going up. And in Suriname as well, Thursday and Friday, rain chance back to about 50%, holding on to that 30% chance in northern Venezuela. So it's getting busy with the front and watching those earthquakes, that earthquake cluster in the northern Caribbean. I'll watch out for that because it is a hot spot, and typically you get bigger quakes out of that area. So Oh, watch out for that. That front nearing Jamaica, more fronts on the way, a series of fronts moving across the uh, U.S. So I'll be tracking that and that rain that is going to get higher, the chance of rain getting higher into the upcoming weekend. Plus, I'll put a link to Earth QC, the latest on that uh, asteroid that will eventually get pretty close to Earth. So I'll put a link in the comments section. Thanks for joining me. I hope you're well and have a good rest of your day.